hello and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here my name is Rita I hope you all are doing well um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys are not following me on Twitter go ahead and do that if you're on Twitter um, it is if you're not on Twitter I will tell you it's a wild ride over there that's all I'm gonna say um, anyway so if for those of you who have been with me for a while I appreciate you thank you so much for sticking by me uh, for sticking around so um, before we get right into what we're gonna talk about today you already saw the thumbnail so you already have an idea um, it is something that uh, we revisit every year on this channel typically but before we get into that I just want to tell you so we have an election coming up here in Wisconsin on April 2nd a primary election and when I tell you I looked at my sample ballot and I found two blue haired hobgoblins. And what do I mean by blue haired hobgoblins? I shouldn't call them that, but you know, that's kind of the, this what their behavior warrants. Um, they are pro alphabet uh, toward kids, pro gender affirming surgery for children, pro all of the horrible um, um, moral ills that are going on in our society. Um, they are contributors to that and they are running on the school board. This is why local elections matter. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I discovered that. So if you have an election coming up, make sure you check out the sample ballot so you can research these people and see who is running for your local office, because these are the people when they get in there, um, have the propensity. If you, if they go unchecked to tear up your neighborhood, misuse all the funds, be like Tiffany Hanyard over in Dalton, Illinois, um, you know, making it rain. So, Let's get right into what we are going to talk about today, which is something that pains me to talk about. And that is children being assaulted by older children on school buses. Yes, you didn't know that was the thing. That is the thing we have covered on this channel before about how older kids are abusing younger kids and just have how kids in general um, have been fighting and not the fights that you're familiar with. See, I think there's a disconnect in, um, in, generations because in my generation and older when you talk about bullying when you talk about kids having a fight at school you just think it's a milkshake on the port over the head kind of thing and everybody laughs or you just think of bullying being a kid being shoved in a locker and everybody laughs but no we are talking about kids who are actively trying to murder other children be bashing their heads into the concrete um things like that is are going on so this story came out of this recent story. Um, you've probably all heard about the story with the high school students where the one girl is now suff has suffered uh, brain damage is my understanding after being her head being slammed into the concrete repeatedly by a much, by a much bigger girl, um, black girl beating a white girl into the ground. This is also becoming a trend. I know people don't like to talk about it. They like to try to deflect when you bring it up, but it is a thing that is happening. Um, black young black kids are taking their anger out on young white kids. Um, I have uh, kind of my theories or my thoughts about that, but before I go there, let me talk about what's going on with this incident. It happened in Niles, Michigan. It was with an 11 year old uh, girl, black girl, and a seven year old, or I say 11 because she's in fifth grade, but I'm not sure exactly of her age, but she is in fifth grade, and a seven year old boy um, and the girl beats the living, beat the living daylights out of this young boy. And of course the parents, the school did not even call the parents. The parents had to find out because, uh, you know, through the grapevine, social media it went viral. Um, a lot of these things are happening. Crazy things are happening in public schools, like crazy things like, uh, this is another topic, but like, uh, teachers, we talked about in my last video, taking kids to, um, protest Palestine and Israel and protest other things and also taking them to get abortions and all sorts of crazy stuff teachers are doing during school hours and making sure to have them back by the time you pick them up from school. So crazy things are happening. So of course, this incident um, was this girl apparently reportedly from other parents has been bullying other kids in the school, but they still allow her in, on the bus and in the classrooms. I sat down with a mother and her child who claims the young girl in the video shared with WSBT 22 has previously punched her in the face. The mother says she has pressed charges against the young girl and says if the courts and the school would have handled things properly, the altercation with the young boy on the bus would have never happened. Now the investigation of the bus incident is ongoing. 
to cuss at people, tell people what to do, and then people would just listen, and um, to the point where they just be her friend because they don't want to um, experience what other people have experienced. So she bullied one per another kid so bad where the parent actually got the police involved and charges were filed. They still let her on the bus, still let her in the classroom. While she was beating up this boy in this incident, she punched the, the, punched the kid next to him in the eye and gave him a black eye, another small child. So with this incident, 50 parents came out and protested um, what is going on here. I will read a little bit of it to you. So uh, it says, um, yet another viral school beating. Victor has, Victor. <laughs> Video has captured the moment a black fifth grade girl mercilessly beat a six, six year old white boy and leaving another injured while on a Michigan school bus. Cell phone shot footage shows the fifth grader throwing punches on a younger student from Ballard Elementary School during the afternoon route home on a Niles school bus on March 4th. The unidentified students can be heard arguing, screaming expletives and calling each other names. So the argument is said to have begun after the boy tried to knock the girl's phone out of her hands after the girl allegedly bullied him. Situation soon escalates when the girl uh, gets out of her seat and starts punching the boy over his head. Now, I will say later in, an, in another article, um, the boy came home with knots and bruises all over. And uh, that's how the parents kind of found out that there was an altercation. The nanny told them there was an altercation, still hadn't heard anything from the school. They had to find out through the online videos that were being circulated. The female student, um, a female student can be heard laughing as the girl dressed in a red jacket repeatedly assaults the boy and informs her that her butt is in the camera. The female student then tries to take a jab at the young boy and asks, you mad? You got beat because you got beat up. At one point in the video, the boy can be heard yelling at his assaulter to stop, but quickly returns to hurling F-bombs at his assailant. The red jacket wearing girl is then seen again attacking the boy as the video recorder laughs in the background. So since going viral, parents are pissed off. They're all concerned. I'm not going to read this whole article. Basically, about 50 or so parents came out. Um, the boy, the parents that this happened to, um, the father said that he pull, was pulling his kids out of school. That was it. Like, because they have been, all the parents complained that they have been having these types of problems going on in the schools, on the buses, everywhere. And they are all concerned for their kids' safety. Okay. Um... Why are older children being bussed with uh, young kids? Why is that a thing? I cannot understand for the life of me why you would put a why you put a twelve year old on the bus with a six year old. I'm going to tell you part of why I think it is. Part of it is budgeting, right? Probably, probably it's just cheaper to do that than to separate the the kids in that way. But the other thing is, um, maybe they just don't. They just think that all the kids are going to, they don't assume that the kids might misbehave. Um, a lot of how up schools and ki kids are being approached nowadays and even bad behavior is being approached like, oh, it's okay. They're just kids. I don't think, uh, maybe a lot of these people haven't come to the realiz realization that um, fighting and bullying today, it has taken on something else. It seems to be coming from a place of severe uh, social and emotional immaturity. Um, and, uh, a lot of fighting, not just fighting, but fighting like to kill people. Students have died. You've been, if you've been reading the news, students have been dying because other students have been, um, beating them to death. Uh, there was another incident a week ago that I saw on Twitter that happened in Wheaton, Illinois. Now, for those of you who don't know, Wheaton used to be a very, very, um, affluent area. Well, it's not anymore. They started bringing in, um, bringing in hood kids. And yeah, I said it, I said it, hood kids, people with that hood mentality, you know, those grown folks that you see that you saw in my last video, the lady who's yelling, have her son next to her and she's cutting up in the, in the fast food restaurant, acting a fool. And then you have other people twerking and doing all sorts of cussing at the airport and all of this crazy behavior. Yeah. These people um, a lot of times are part of these affordable housing initiatives. And then when you move them into your suburb, guess what happens? Um, they teach their kids these bad behaviors and then their kids get on your school bus and beat the heck out of your kids. That's how that usually goes. And I don't care who doesn't like it. It's true. It's what happens. Um, people who say, no, you, you're being whatever. What about this? What about that? Yeah, they're just, 
they're just insecure for some reason. But if you're not the one doing this, if your kids are not the one do the ones doing this, you have no reason to feel shame or insecurity. Um, you have no reason to feel bad about this. This is a thing. It does happen. When you move these hood people through affordable housing programs into your nice neighborhood, they are going to victimize your children because they these people teach their children to cut, act up in public, uh, disrespect authority, disrespect other people's property, act a fool. They don't get punished. So they act out on your kids and then these people are going to act out on you because they take advantage of the naivete of nice people who are not used to people acting like wild animals. But they act like wild animals and they will act like a wild animal all over you and all over your children when you move them into your neighborhood. And that is what I'm saying and I'm sticking to it. Last year, there was an incident where a boy was actually, actually say, assaulted on a school bus. I was going to do a video about it, but it disturbed me so bad that I didn't, couldn't even talk about it. I couldn't even get through the video, okay, because it was so bad. Now, this incident took place in Houston, and I will read a little bit from this article out of uh, the local station and news station in Houston. An 11-year-old student in the Aldine Independent School District is facing charges after a younger student's mother says that her son was actually, say, assaulted on a school bus, according to media reports. The Harris County District Attorney's Office said the suspect was charged with three accounts of aggravated assault of a child. Um, KPRC reported on the incident on February 3rd, this was of last year, when the mother who was not identified due to the nature of the allegation said there was footage of her six-year-old son being, actually say, assaulted. She said a few days before her son arrived home without his backpack, she contacted the school's transportation department to try to find the backpack, which she discovered was thrown out of the bus by another student, uh, KPRC reported. She asked the district to review the bus surveillance video to identify the student who threw out the backpack, but they, but they then discovered that an assault had taken, uh, took place. The district told the mother about the assault and interviewed the six-year-old. In the affidavit, the child said the older student lured him to the back of the bus to play a game. The mother told KH, KHOU that the assaults took place over a five-month period on a school bus. She added that she uh, noticed a change in her son's behavior in the months before learning about the assaults. The DA's office told KPRC that the child was offered therapy through the Children's Assessment Center. Aldine ISD released the following statement to the station. The Aldine ISD Police Department has presented the investigation findings to the Harris County DA's office. Formal charges have been filed by the DA's office. Well, thank goodness for that. Um, and then they go on, the safety and security of our students is priority, yada, 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 thorough investigation, yada, yada. Okay. Get your kids out of public schools. Stop letting your kids on school buses with older children. This went on for five months. The story we heard, we, we read about before in um, Niles, Michigan, this girl had charges pressed and they still let her on the bus for beating up other kids and they still let her on the bus. These public schools don't care about your kids. And I'm gonna tell you something else. If you know there are wild uh, uh, ghetto acting kids who's got who got bad behavior, cussing, swearing at teachers, throwing chairs, you better keep your kids away from these kids. If you got some kid threatening bomb uh, with uh, talking about bomb threats or shooting up the school and you know, and you, and you just kind of shrug it off, you need to get your kids out of the school. I don't know. I, I'm so enraged by this. Um, because no, this shouldn't be happening, but you need to understand we are living in a time where these kids are very emotionally immature. They are going through some state of arrested development. And a lot of these kids, I think because of everything that's going on in the world, social media included, I think a lot of these kids are undergoing some kind of trauma and they are at lashing out on other kids. A lot of them exhibiting what they were experiencing at home, perhaps. I don't know, but I do know that you need to get your kids away from them. Um, don't feel like a racist because you see a wild hood ghetto black kid 
because their parents are wild hood and ghetto acting crazy um, toward other kids or loud cursing, you know, yelling. If you see these types of people in your neighborhood or in your school, please believe these people will not hesitate to victimize you or your kids. Get them out of these schools these publics, these, de these departments of education, and, and they do not care about your kid's safety. They are willing to hide it, sweep it under the rug, not tell you about it, either that or, or and, they are also um, not paying enough attention to even know that this sexual assault was going on on the school bus while other kids are on the bus for six months. I'm just saying, do what you got to do. If you live in a bad area where things like this are going on and you feel like your hands are tied, save your money, move into a smaller space. If you live in a small town and you know everybody in the town and everybody knows everybody and all the kids are the same age and they're on this school bus and it's a small little school bus and it's like traveling with friends, hey, by all means, but don't think just because you teach your kids that uh, beating the living daylights out of other kids is wrong. Don't think that other people teach their kids that because they don't know. Not everybody teaches their kids that. In fact, uh, some pe some kids just learn violence all day long. And you got to keep that in mind. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, of course, in the comments. Until next time, ciao. God bless.